unless you think that my suburban county is somehow unique in the state of Indiana, let me disabuse you of that notion. In neighboring Indianapolis, they had 221 hours of early voting over that same period. Additionally, Hoosiers have the ability to vote absentee. Now, you can vote absentee in the state of Indiana by mail for 11 separate reasons, including being sick, or caring for someone who is sick, or working on election day. Now, colleagues, in the history of our country, voting has never been easier than it is right now. That's right. You may not see this on the media, but this is indeed true. You see, the truth bears it out, right in the numbers. Last year, a larger percentage of the population voted than they had in any election since 18-year-olds were given the right to vote 50 years ago. A larger proportion of the population voted than it had since over the last 50 years. Why aren't we hearing this? According to the Census Bureau, voter turnout for African Americans and Hispanic Americans were up 3 and 6 percent respectively, not down. Asian Americans saw a huge 10 percent increase. This is fantastic. Yet my colleagues on the left would have the American people believe that we're living in an era of extreme suppression. Or is President Biden demagogically, dishonestly, and divisively called it Jim Crow on steroids? So what exactly is the national democratic response to this record turnout? Well, they'd like to strip election powers away from the states, states like Indiana, and give those powers to Democrat overlords here in Washington, D.C. That's how we ended up with S-1, the For the People Act. So for the folks back home, what is this For the People Act really all about? Why are we having this debate? Why are we going to have this vote? It's really about four things, four things. One. National Democrats want to fund their campaigns with your taxpayer dollars. That's right, under the For the People Act, a $100 campaign donation to Nancy Pelosi could be matched by $600 from taxpayers. I don't know about, you know, my colleagues who are listening, but, but my neighbors work very hard for their wages and salaries, and I expect that's the case for them as well. They don't want $600 to match $100 given to Nancy Pelosi. Two, National Democrats want to gut popular voter ID laws like those in the state of Indiana. I know what Hoosiers believe. Hoosiers believe you should have to prove who you are in order to vote. Our voter ID law incidentally passed in 2005. It was challenged in the courts, and it was upheld by the Supreme Court of the United States by a vote of six to three. But this bill, this For the People Act says, now you don't have to prove who you are. You don't have to prove you are who you say you are in order to cast a vote. We'll just take you at your word. seems to me to be rife for abuse. Three, the third thing this is all about is, is National Democrats want to allow ballot harvesting. Well, it's an awful word and it's an awful thing. Harvesting of ballots. In Indiana, a member of your household can already turn in your absentee ballot. You can do it, but under this law, anybody can turn in your ballot or not turn it in. And there's no limit to how many ballots a single person can turn in. Hundreds of ballots, thousands of ballots. Rife for abuse. 
The final thing this is about is, is National Democrats want to take control of the Federal Election Commission. They want to turn it into a partisan committee. Now, everyone in this body believes that the right to uh, vote is, is, is a sacred. It's a sacred right that all of us have. And we ought to be able to exercise it unhindered and with fidelity. We're in this chamber because our each of our respective constituents exercised a right to vote. It's how we earned our, our, our election certificates. And we all agree that our constituents need to be able to trust the systems in place that allowed them to cast their vote. So we can't take that sacred right and turn it into a partisan exercise as S1 proposes we do. That, my friends, is why this senator will be a voting no on S1, the so-called For the People Act. Thank you.